Hello guys, welcome to another video. Welcome to my channel, Mark Stair Productions. Uh, today, I want to bring to light something that uh, I just recently came across in an article on Google. It's actually from USA Today. And the author, the contributor um, to this site is Ed Stetzer, who is a professor and a dean, and serves at Wheaton College. He's also an author and a speaker. And um, if you haven't been following March Madness lately, um, apparently there's... Uh, and I've watched many of the games, but this year has been extra crazy. So it's been an extra uh, March Madness madness this year. Now, the type of madness that I want to talk about today is not the kind where it involves busted brackets. Rather, it has to do with our current society and the day and age that we live in where cancel culture is very prevalent and is actually kind of uh, just ruining a lot of things. And um, I'll get more into that. But so if you haven't heard of, um, sorry, this is going to be very kind of difficult for me to pronounce because I'm, I'm Vietnamese and it's hard for people from the Asiatic countries, I don't know if that's a correct term or not, to pronounce ours. So Oral Roberts University, um, that's a, quite a bit of a tongue twister for me, Oral Roberts University uh, basically is uh, people are wanting them to get canceled. Now, I will explain later a little bit. Um, about why this is. Now, this university, Oral, Oral Roberts, my bad, um, is a Cinderella team. They, are, they were ranked uh, 15th um, in the March Madness bracket, and they defeated my Ohio State Buckeyes. Um, I'm originally from Ohio, so I always root, root for them. Thought they were going to go a little bit further, but they typically always choke. But they got defeated by ORU. I'll just say that um, from now on. And they're, they're move, they, they, they're keep, um, they just keep going. I mean, they're, they're a good team. They're in the sweet 16. A lot of people say, and this is the title of, of, um, this article, Oral Roberts University basketball doesn't deserve to be canceled from NCAA sweet 16, um, which is of course coming, uh, from Ed Stetzer who says that there are people who are wanting to cancel ORU. And why is this? Well, because ORU holds uh, Christian, values, uh, Christian standards. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I know everything that they believe or anything like that. I'm sure there's some uh, lines that I don't completely uh, agree on, and um, I try my best to be in alignment with what Scripture says about certain certain issues and everything, um, but in major issues such as uh, ones that deal with the LGBTQ uh, community, uh, there's just, um, there is a very um, hard to find line there. And I've actually made a video on this not too long ago. Apparently, ORU is being accused of being homophobic and bigoted because of the beliefs that the college holds. And I think you can see where I'm going here. Um, so this, this place, this college uh, motivates and inspires their students to um, live out their faith and to be empowered by the Holy Spirit to live in in this culture, um, and to live, to be a witness in the world, to improve, um, and you, and, uh, by using education to kind of, uh, undergird all of that. Um, so we live in a culture today, and I'm going to read a little bit from the article, um, that Ed, uh, wrote here. The dogma teaches that tolerance must mean agreement. And I'm sure we all, uh, see this happening today in, in our society. So tolerance must mean agreement. Then branding all who disagree as intolerant and harmful, not satisfied that we respect opposing views on human sexuality, all must affirm homosexuality as acceptable within their own theology. There can no longer be any disagreement, only compliance. Now, this may seem like a pretty, um, uh, it, it, it seems uh, kind of crazy just to even read it, to to. to to say that that's how we are today. You know, uh, we see this all the time. It's like we hear people talking about being tolerant, but yet when it comes to um, conservative, conservative Christian values, um, there's no tolerance for that. So in, in our, in, in our um, kind of point of view, in our worldview, uh, we are, there is no tolerance for that stance. On these issues. 
Um, I'll continue reading. This is a stunning 180 from the arguments we heard in 2009 when LGBTQ plus advocates uh, advocates maintained all we want is the right to marry. How will my gay, how will my gay marriage hurt you? And I'm sure we've all um, heard that, um, whether on the news or in person with coworkers or or anybody. And now it's we want your college accreditation 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 accreditation. Sorry, these words are really messing me up. Your athletic participation and more. That's what it's kind of gone to. That's that's the extent to which our society and culture is moving. Remember back, you know, 15 years ago, it was, well, how is homosexuality or how is my gay lifestyle going to affect you? Well, here we go, folks. Uh, we're experiencing it today, and I know some people um, see that as a as a uh, logical fallacy called the slippery slope fallacy. But guess what? Even though it's a fallacy, we are seeing it come to fruition. It's no longer, oh, well, why can't you just let us be and, you know, we'll let you be. No, it's now you must uh, agree and condone what we are doing or else you are out of compliance and we're going to punish you for it. And in the case of ORU, they... People, um, the liberal side of our American society, are wanting to cancel this team. These these are just college kids. These are um, college guys who just want to play the game of basketball, who are trying to live out their faith. I'm not saying that all of them are saved or anything, um, which even uh, proves a, a whole completely other point. You can go to a Christian college or, or whatever college and not hold um, the same views as them, which is completely beside the point. But um, I think people are just trying to point out um, things to, to try to stir things up and to try to rile people up, which honestly, it's kind of struck a chord with me because um, we're only going to continue to see this kind of way of thinking um, uh, progress in our, in our culture. And it's a sad reality. And I think a lot of us have been hoping that it's going to, the pendulum's going to swing all the way back around, um, at least a little bit to, to, um, back to where it was, um, on, at least in terms of conservative, uh, Christian, Christian values. And even those in the Christian, uh, faith or those who claim they are even kind of lean more on the, the left side of the, the progressive Christianity. Um, and it's quite concerning. So um, I think you guys get the gist of this video. I just wanted to uh, bring this to light and to make sure that you guys are informed um, because information is the key to communicating well and making better decisions in every day in life. Now, I want this to be an encouragement to you if you are a Christian to hold firm in the faith. Just always remember that if people are accusing you of hassling them or um, you know, trying to tell you that you are just trying to um, stir them up. No, um, culture and society are basically attacking the the Christian who holds a conservative conservative Christian worldview. And uh, I just want to encourage you, you know, staying strong in your faith and just keep on uh, keeping on. And um, I'll be praying for you. I'll be praying uh, for this country. I'll be praying for just everything that the, that this article pretty much uh, brings to light and points out. Um, and that's it for this video. I will see you in the next video.